Do you suppose to be making a presentation or something? Okay. <laughs> Let me come on up here. Um, this sister right here was not able to make, uh, for those of you who are watching on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter, what's up everybody? What's up? We're in Harvey, uh, 14838 Page. Church. Senior Greg AME Church. That's right, and we are here uh, with our beautiful, loving pastor. Marlon Branch. Come on up here, my brother. Uh, we are going to present this, man did not go live. this young lady, um, good and plenty. And as she said before, um, she's experiencing, and we're wrapping our arms around her too. Yes, we are. Um, her father um, has taken for the um, worse, according to what you said. Yeah. Um, but we're going to continue to pray for her and, you know, at the end of the day, it's God's will. Yes. Let his will be done. Yes. And God wouldn't put us or wouldn't allow us to be in this condition without having a backup plan. Mm -hmm. And we know that life has several stops to it, but the last stop is eternal life. Amen. Amen. Revelations 21 and 4 said that there would become a time when there would be no more sickness, no more death, no more sorrow, no more pain. For the former things have passed away. Amen. Jesus Amen. is the example. He's the first of them that slept. Mm -hmm. And the Bible talks about even our grandparents and those who already have gone away. Talk about that day when Jesus returns and that trumpet sounds. And then the dead in Christ shall be raised first at his coming. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm looking forward to seeing my 15-year-old son that we lost to cancer. I'm looking forward to seeing misconception. Mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to yes. seeing my brother that I just lost a few weeks ago. Yes. Mm -hmm. So we're going to wrap our arms around our sister. We're going to pray that um, even life is restored, if yes. possible. Mm -hmm. yes. But if it's not possible, then let God's will be done. Amen. Right. Amen. I would like to present, on behalf of the poet organization, our sister Good and Plenty, who is a wonderful spoken word artist, but she's also a wonderful host. Uh, making people dreams come true about traveling to different places outside of the country, um, whether it be Aruba or Jamaica or anywhere else. You can always find her on some island somewhere. And she always makes it possible for you to travel with her, you know, and safely, in, in a safe return home. So the 2016 Poet Host of the Year Award goes to our sister, Good Pudi. Y'all give a nice round Thank you so much, Black Ice and Poet, people of extraordinary talent, for this wonderful award. You all really made my day. I was not expecting this. Um, I was supposed to come to our, we had our awards banquet in prom last night, but unfortunately I wasn't able to make it. My daddy. So, supposed to host it. Host I, yeah, it. I was supposed to host. Host it. Host. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was supposed to host, but at, you know, as uh, most of my um, fellow church folks already know, I do travel quite a bit, and I do take people with me, and I have a, a little small business. It's just me and my business partner. We have the Get Up and Go Girls. Ice has joined us on numerous trips. Red has joined us on numerous trips. I've even taken my mama with me. Pastor, you got to come on and go. <laughs> But yeah, we, we try and make it as inexpensive as possible. We allow folks to make payments. I've had folks getting on the plane paying me. <laughs> so thank you very much for this. It, it really, uh, you made me feel so much better. Thank you. Thank you very 